welcome back to my channel Lorreen HD for a new video. It's already time for a new video uh, that is going to tackle the question of whether or not it's better to date another herpes positive because many of us think uh, you know once we contract herpes we think it's just going to be easier and simpler if we date another herpes positive and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you from my experience uh, what I expected going into a, a relationship of some sort with another herpes positive. The three things that I expected, the first one was that it was going to be nice not to have like constantly on your mind this like worry about you know potentially transmitting it. The second thing that I expected was that it was somewhat going to be easier to date someone who can relate to what having herpes is and like the stigma and the whole like baggage of it and the third expectation what was that um sex was going to be smoother or less calculated because in a way the uh, symptoms were not going to represent a risk for each other so those were the three things that i expected and this is what actually happened so the first expectation, was it nice not to always have to worry about transmission? Yes. Regardless of how sexually active you are and um, how accepting your partner is of your status, there's always this like what if cloud that like creeps on top of your head and like you have to battle with and not having that was like actually nice not having the feeling that you are somewhat to a certain extent responsible for someone else's health. Uh, in that regard was pretty nice. I do have to mention that this person and I had the same type of herpes but um, this is where it's important to know which type you have because although your body builds immunity towards the type that you don't have it is still possible for you to contract the one that you don't have so make sure that you know which one you have which one your partner has and if you don't want to catch the one that you don't have it still kind of involves some type of caution okay my battery died so i had to stop recharge it so if the shot looks any different you guys know why so back to my second expectation that it was going to be easier to date someone who could relate to uh, having what I had. Not really. And there's actually a very logic reason for that, which is that uh, processing a diagnosis happens in very different ways at very different paces according to people mind you this person had had it for less time than i did but even some viewers sometimes write to me and they've had it for years if not like decades and they still haven't come to terms with the fact that they have it and with the fact that it doesn't really say anything about them and it's very little things it's through the little things like you know not being able to say the word herpes but like finding safe uh, safe words or code words or being super unapologetic and like very confident about it when it's just you and them but then whenever there's like other people around or there's a joke that is being thrown about herpes then it's back to like treating it as a, as a secret and like not being comfortable to speak up at all so sometimes it can be liberating to be dating someone who can relate to what you have but it doesn't mean that they will relate to how you feel about it and that can either hurt or help your own journey towards your self-acceptance. My last expectation was that sex was going to be less calculated in terms of our symptoms not representing risks for each other and that again was not an accurate expectation because um, Basic, and I don't know if this is just me, I'm like actually super curious to hear from you guys if you have experienced the same thing. But there would be this weird thing where if they or I was experiencing prodromal symptoms, pro, prodrom, prodromal, prodromal, prodromal symptoms, and we would still be intimate, then we would trigger an outbreak in each other. Or we could, like it happened a few times. And that introduced like a new kind of layer of transmission where it was not like transmission for the first time maybe it was more triggering like we didn't want to trigger an outbreak in each other and so we still had to be like pretty cautious and pretty you know sometimes diy and find our own ways to like go around symptoms in order like not to provoke an outbreak in each other's bodies so overall do i prefer to date a herpes positive over a herpes negative 
no and that's a very personal answer you might feel very differently according to what your experience has been like but uh, maybe because it's not so important for me to have someone or to date someone who can relate to how I feel about herpes or maybe because we had so much more in common with this person that you know herpes was not a significant aspect of our relationship but all in all no I don't have a preference I, I yeah it's not like I prefer one or the other I just don't have a preference I care less in the statuses of whoever I'm intimate with and I care more about how we deal with those those statuses like I care that things are said clearly I care that decisions are made together I care that risks are taken consciously like these are the things that I care much more about whether you're just like positive or negative if you think this video was helpful please leave a thumbs up and if you have had your own experiences with dating other herpes positives and your expectations were accurate or inaccurate please share your experience in the comments below if you feel comfortable to do so uh, if you want to talk to me privately you can dm me on instagram at Lorene hd i have a way easier time to keep track of your messages on instagram so please choose that over uh, the blog that i've recommended in the past um what else i have started a facebook page because there are so many articles and videos that i want to share with you guys but um you know i can't use youtube to do that so if you're interested check it out it's still Lorene hd and for real this time that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you soon ciao